Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the PNSO Mini Glyphoderma. Glyphoderma means sculpture skin, and it was a placodont in the family Placochiliidae, and it was only 87 centimeters long, and it lived in the Middle Triassic of what is now China. Yeah, this is not a dinosaur. And I've never reviewed anything from PNSO before, so this is a first for me. And if this is anything to go by, I am absolutely blown away. I could not believe the amount of detail they managed to put on such a tiny little figure. So placodonts were a type of obscure reptile from the Triassic. <laughs> what a shock. Um, Triassic, known for tons and tons of evolutionary, uh, like, dead ends, kind of, that just radiated as a result of the Permian extinction, and this is one of them. They were aquatic reptiles, and they would have specialised in eating shellfish on the sea floor, and they are only from the Triassic, as they became extinct at the end of the period. And this is one of only two placodont figures I know of. The other one being the Safari LTD Mini Hanodus that came in the prehistoric seat life tube. But uh, I sadly don't own that and it is retired. So it's quite hard to come across nowadays. So let's have a look at the figure. So Glyphoderma is known for having a, like a triangle shaped head. And you can see that represented really well in this figure. And tiny little eyes. Now, interesting about the eyes. I think this is actually a re-release of... A figure they'd already done but with a different color scheme I think this is a big improvement because I remember seeing pictures of the old one and they had really big weird looking eyes I think this one looks much more detailed and naturalistic we'll get to the shell later because that's my favorite part the limbs they look really really naturally posed like it's trying to swim through the water scouring the seafloor for tasty mollusks and stuff and shellfish the underside has been done so nicely. Nice creases, wrinkles, the carapace looks wonderful. Back legs are very stubby. Back legs. Now, it might look quite similar, but this is definitely not a turtle. They're just convergently evolved shells similar to turtles. The tail is awesome. Really long, and you can see there's ridges spines if it focuses. Oh, there we go see the row of spines going down the top and it's a very light almost yellowish kind of brown underneath and then nice dark green on top and now let's look at the shell the carapace just look at the detail look how many osteoderms they've sculpted onto such a tiny little figure little toes are adorable on the feet and the skin folds and wrinkles on the top of the head look amazing almost looks like a brooch it's so detailed I can't believe how fantastic this figure looks so PNSO if this is the kind of quality I can expect from you guys then I will certainly be getting more from you because this has blown me away now in terms of size, it is a minifigure, though, let's see, looking about 9 centimeters in terms of the length, and the width, just about, uh, just shy of 4 centimeters across. So yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. Very rarely get placodont figures, like I said, very obscure species, I'd never heard of Glyphoderma. So this is just greatly appreciated in every single way, shape and form. It is brilliant. It's it's and it doesn't take up too much room on the shelf, which I'm very, very uh low on right now. I'm running out of room. So yeah, if you guys would like one, I say go to uh, everythingdinosaur.com. Service is fantastic. Yeah, pick this guy up. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.